Raiders. We a nation of Raiders. It's a nation of Raiders. Hello, welcome to another season of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Glacy Jane, and today we are here in Napa, California, at the train facility. And today we are kicking off the first day of practicing pets. I'm going to be pulling players to the side randomly and asking them questions about the importance of health, nutrition, and education. And I may have some surprise for you later, so stick around. The other teams only wish they could measure Success is the business, you be my witness. Come feel the wrath of an Oakland menace from state to state. And any given Sunday, it's the Raider attack. Strap them up and let's play. It's a black attack laced with silver, and we deliver. Guaranteed to make it show the past quiver. Look in the mirror, search your soul in the black hole. Fourth and goal, you couldn't cross the goal if you're paid toll. Knuckle up, get on the line, we going 99. Y-D-S, Y-E-S, take this form to your chest. Cause you're with the best at this, committed to excellence. You call us crazy, we come to win, baby. Raiders, we a nation of Raiders. It's a nation of Raiders. We a nation of Raiders. It's a nation of Raiders. We a nation of I'm here with the Raiders legend, so I'm gonna ask them some questions about nutrition and health. So, what do you tell me about nutrition? Like, what do you recommend for the viewers? Oh, uh, you know, high protein, uh, a lot of working out, uh, get ready for practice all the time. You know, I don't eat. Eating a well-balanced meal, you know, each and every day, uh, make you stronger, faster, quicker. That's awesome. What about you? What do you recommend the viewers for uh, about uh, nutrition? Well, you know, they say you are what you eat, so you probably can tell most of the food I eat is old. <laughs> you know, but, but no, nutrition is uh, is a good, uh, big, good part of uh, certainly being a professional athlete, but. Uh, life in general, you have to eat properly and uh, pay attention. I think you got to pay attention. Pay attention to how you feel after you eat a big meal or eat anything because um, a lot of times, you know, people have allergies and allergic to some things like that. And uh, that's just your body trying to tell you that that may not be the right food for you. So, so pay attention to what you eat. Pay attention to the ingredients that are in your food and, uh, and get, you know, like my grandfather told me, Drink plenty of water and get your rest. That's a great advice. Thank you. What about you? What do you recommend us? <laughs> Stay hydrated, for sure. A lot of protein. A um, few carbs. You know, uh, you got to keep your body where you can exert that energy and burn you. When you burn energy, it's, you got to sustain it. So. Uh, it's, it's a number of different different uh, diets that they have now in, in pro football that when we played we don't have we didn't have and uh, it's just a matter of each 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 team sometimes have their own diet and training table so it's, it's a number of different nutrition that they use a lot of vitamins you know and it's, like I said hydration. Awesome. Thank you. That's a great advice. Thank you for your time, guys. Sure. Hello, viewers. I'm here with Lincoln Kennedy. So, Lincoln, I want to ask you a question about nutrition. What do you do to keep your life healthy? Well, you know what? The first thing that I do personally is I have a, a breakfast. I think breakfast is important. I, I use the old analogy that if you're getting your car, you want to go. The first thing you do when you turn on the car is make sure you have enough gas to go. Well, it's the same thing with your body. You want to make sure you have the right fuel to go. And it's not so much just having anything. It's the right thing. What's, the, what's your body going to get the most out of? And because everybody's makeup is different, you know, people, some people respond to, you know, grains better than they do fruits and vice versa. You got to be mindful. So you have to be conscientious uh, of what you're putting into your body. And as an athlete, even more so because your body is your investment, it's really impor important to protect your investment. So, Lincoln, I have one more question. So what do you do to maintain? Well, personally, like I said, it goes back to breakfast. And then when I'm not in season or when I was playing, um, what I like to do is I like to have a, a light workout in the morning and then my heavier workout comes in the afternoon. And that kind of gets you prepared for the two-a-day mentality like we're doing out here in training camp. Uh, that was my way of, of just getting through the off season. And, of course, when the season's here, you've got your regu regular regu regimented schedule. That is great. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed and I appreciate your time. <laughs> Hello viewers, I'm here with Rod Martin who won two 
two times the football uh, Super Bowl um, championship. Look at the rings. <laughs> Yay! So today I want to ask you uh, uh, two questions about nutrition. What do you uh, do to maintain your, your healthy? Well, I try to eat healthy, uh, first of all. Um, during the off season when I was playing, uh, we used to uh, eat a lot of protein, uh, carbs, because that's what we needed in order to perform on the football field. Uh, it took a lot to, uh, and we've, we also ate, ate our vegetables as well as fruit. So you have to do the all, over, all around uh, nutrition in order to stay healthy on the football field. And it helps with uh, energy, it helps with uh, uh, injuries that you would have, recovery, and I think we didn't want to overeat. You know, uh, some of us are not like linemen, offensive linemen that we had to be really big. So we want to eat enough to maintain and be successful on the football field. That is awesome. So like, it seems like you are still very in good shape. So you still like doing the same, the same diet that you used to do when you used to play? Uh, no, I was bigger when I played, you know, so now, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm still eating healthy but I don't eat as much as I used to because you don't have to, I don't have to go out there on the football field and expend all of that energy that, the way I did it before. So I eat healthy. I mean, vegetables, fruit, you know, protein. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're trying to uh, play a sport, you need that kind of energy in order to help you become successful on the field. Right, that is a great advice. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm Glacy Jane, reporting for Deborah New Productions. I'm here with Marquette King. Is that right? Marquette. Marquette. Marquette King. So, Marquette, can you please tell us uh, what do you do to, to stay in shape? Um, I just try to focus on my eating habits, focus on taking the right stuff. I try to go for organic and natural foods because uh, those are a lot better with the body. Uh, try to eat four meals a day because when you work out so hard, you got to be able to have food to... Uh, Refuel your muscles so you can be prepared for the next workout. That is amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Hey viewers, I'm here with Sebastian. What is your last name? Jankowski. Jankowski. So the school is ready to start. Can you tell the kids what is the best way for them to stay healthy and in shape? Uh, you got a lot of vegetables, you know, nutrition, a lot of shakes. And don't forget, you got to work out too. You can't just, you know, eat healthy. You got to do some kind of exercise. Right. Thank you so much right. for your advice. Right. Hey, I'm here with Amari Cooper. So, Amari Cooper, I have a question for you. What do you do to stay in shape? Well, I work really hard to stay in shape, run a lot of 110s and, you know, just a lot of drills and stuff like that. But, you know, the most important thing is what you put in your body. So I try to eat really healthy. What about, like, you drink a lot of water? How, how much you drink of water per day when you work out? Yeah, I, well, drinking water is really important. You're supposed to drink about six bottles of water. Uh, a day, but when you're out here uh, in the sun running and stuff, it's, the, it's important to get those electrolytes in your body, so I try to drink a lot of Gatorades as well. That's amazing. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey, I'm here with Andrea Holmes. So, Andrea, I want to I I wanna has, ask you about uh, nutrition. What do you do to keep your body in shape? Um, you know, I just make sure that I hydrate at all times, get uh, electrolytes, because every time I practice, I lose electrolytes, so I just make sure I hydrate, um, eat fruit, protein, um, got to keep my body, you know, uh, feeling fresh and recovered. 
That's awesome. Thank you for your time. I'm here with John Condon. So, Condon, I have a question for you. So, school is ready to start. Can you please give the kids some advice on what to stay, how to stay healthy and in shape? Yeah, how to stay healthy and stay in shape. Well, the biggest thing is nutrition, uh, eating the right things, drinking the right things. Try to stay away from all the sugary drinks, your Gatorades, your, your sodas, your uh, iced teas, lemonades. Try to, try to get with it. If you do want to drink a Gatorade, go with the G2, less sugar. I mean, that's probably the biggest, the biggest difference you can get there. And, and there's nothing wrong with good old-fashioned water, man. That, the HEO, is, it's just as good. Uh, Eating-wise, you know, you got you to stay with your fruit, your vegetables. Uh, one of the biggest things I, I learned, you know, being a professional athlete is, is, is taking care of your body. But when I go to the grocery store, I just stay on the outside edges. You know, I don't go through the aisles where all the, you know, box stuff is. Just stay in the produce section, you know, get, get your fruits and veggies and, and your, your, your meats and all that kind of stuff, and you'll be in good shape. Uh oh, so that means no pizza and ice cream. Uh, you can have some a couple cheat days, but uh, ice cream. I, I'm uh, I, I love ice cream, but every once in a while you can you can indulge in ice cream every once in a while. But yeah. Thank you. That was a great advice. Uh, we appreciate well, your you. time. Yeah, no I'm here with uh, Michael Rivera. So Rivera, what do you do to stay in shape, and how's your nutrition life? Like, what do you do to be in shape? Nutritionally, it's it's a full time job. Uh, basically every day I drink more than a gallon of water. I wake up, drink water, I go to bed drinking water. I don't like to drink a lot of juice, a lot of sodas, a lot of that has too much sugar in it. So I love drinking a lot of water, I love eating fruits, and I also eat five times a day. So when you're eating five times a day, your metabolism is always going. And uh, you got to think of, you know, a small amount of food as like a log in a fire. And you keep that fire burning all day. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Hey guys, I'm here with DJ. What's your last name? Hayden. So, Hayden, I am. Um, I want to ask you a question about nutrition. What do you do to keep in shape? Uh, I like to work out. You know what I'm saying. I got to stay hydrated because hydration is the key. You got to keep your muscles lubed down. You know. And uh, really, I just eat a lot of pasta and and like sandwiches. I try to stay away from the Jack in the Box, but sometimes I slip up every now and then. But uh, really, just a lot of good food, home cooked meals, and that's basically it. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Hey guys, I'm here with TJ, and what is your last name? Kerry. Kerry. Kerry, so I have a question for you about nutrition. What do you do to keep in shape? Definitely eating right. Um, you try and make sure you time your meals out right between practice time so that you have enough energy. Um, a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of fish. Um, occasionally, you'll have the steaks and the shrimps and things like that, but um, definitely got to make sure that you're on a timely regimen to, to enhance your energy and performance on the field. That is great. Thank you so much for your time. Hello, I'm here with Latavia's Mary. Can you uh, answer a, a quick question about how uh, you keep in shape? How you, you know, your nutrition and how you keep in shape? Um, well, first, uh, it, it starts with what you put in your body. So uh, I'll make sure I'm, I'm eating right, uh, eating healthy, uh, and staying on top of it uh, as far as being smart about what I'm putting in my body and when I'm eating at that time. Uh, second, just making sure I'm taking care of my body, getting in an ice tub rolling out, stretching, uh, just so I feel good uh, every day for practice. That is awesome. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. Hello, viewers. I'm here with Khalif Borns. So I have a quick quick question for you. What do you do to stay in shape? Uh, about half of it, or maybe like a little more than half of it, comes down to what you eat. You know, you can work out a lot, do whatever you want to do. Whatever regimen you have uh, that you uh, try to get ready for, running, lifting weights, or whatever it is, if you're eating like uh, garbage on the side of that, you know, really you're taking away from your work and what you really did. You really have no um, <clears throat> no merit of, of what you just got through accomplishment. So you can't just work out and eat McDonald's every day. You know, you have to eat like, you know, pr proper proteins, uh, not a lot of sugar. So I just try to watch out for stuff like that. What about water? How much water you drink per day? Like uh... Lots. I know in California we got a drought, but that's one thing I do try to get in is a lot of water. Um, even before eating a meal, sometimes if you just drink a glass of water, they kind of get your stomach ready for the meal that you're about to be processing. So, um, and especially us as athletes, you know, uh, you need a lot of water to uh, prevent a lot of muscle tears and strains, things of that nature. So, water is very important. That's what we need to know. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. I'm here with George Atkinson. So, I have a question for you. What do you do to stay in shape? Uh, train hard. Um, not just train hard, but also, you know, put good things in your body. You know, you can't, you can't have bad things in your body and, and expect re results after you're training. 
So uh, I've started uh, juicing, um, a lot of vegetables. Um, you know, they say to juice your, your vegetables and eat your fruits, you know, so that's a good thing to do, to stay on top of nutrition and making sure you're getting the right vitamins and, and minerals and things like that in your body after, after training. That is amazing. Thank you so much for your time. I'm here with Tao Wong Johnson. So can you tell us what do you do to stay in shape and what do you do, like you're healthy and... Um, I, during the off season, I try to focus on uh, what I'm eating, so I try to eat a little better. Uh, one of my go-to workouts is running up hills and in the sand and uh, do a little work in the pool just to keep the pressure off my joints. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Hello, viewers. I hope you guys enjoyed the interview. Uh, and I'm going to see you guys in the first week of September when I'm sitting down with the players. I'm Glacey Jane reporting for Devon New Productions. Ciao, ciao.